Have you ever wanted to impress friends when they come over for cocktails? Well, stay tuned because we have three cocktail recipes that'll dazzle anyone that steps through into your home bar. Welcome to Cocktail Limelight. I'm your host, Eric Castro, and I'm pleased to introduce to you a good friend of mine and former coworker, Andrew Gallardi, the founder of Progressive Pours. How's everyone doing? So for those of you out there that don't know, Progressive Pours is actually a craft cocktail catering company that Andrew started up. So Andrew, tell me, what, what does that entail? What, what, what do you mean by craft cocktail catering? For one, we have a mobile bar, something similar to this actually, where it's not just a fold out table. You got a legit wooden bar top, uh, metal workstation, I'm talking rinsers, and of course, craft cocktail ingredients fresh squeezed citrus, handmade syrups, as best as possible staying away from the store-bought pre-bottled stuff. All that, all that yeah. pre-bottled shelf-stable garbage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, brother, so, you know, the experience you have, you know, making craft cocktails in mass, in volume for tons of people, whether it's at a wedding, a birthday party, a quinceanera, whatever, right? You must have some cocktails up your sleeve that you love to recommend to people, you know, when they're entertaining in their homes. Thank you, thank you. Yes, uh, I appreciate that. And of course, when you're entertaining at home, I think what I've learned most is keep it simple, no need to make it complicated, and make it a, just a solid good drink. Make it slap, baby. Make it slap. <laughs> so, all right, you have three of your favorite cocktails. We're about to tackle them now. What's the first one that you have in store for us? Uh, the first one we'll bring up is an old-fashioned variation. Uh, this is the Fancy Free. Uh, really straightforward. You still have Angostura bitters, just like your classic old fashioned. A couple dashes there. Um, we are gonna add orange bitters as well. Give it a nice citrusy flavor. So instead of simple syrup, we're gonna substitute Luxardo. It's a cherry liqueur. Super sweet stuff, we'll do a half ounce. Um, so no need to add any simple syrup besides that. And then of course, it's not old fashioned without some whiskey, am I right? Nice healthy pour, two ounces. And then that was the bourbon? Correct, bourbon. Today we're gonna to be using this fancy cube. But man, there's something about that clear cube. It's cool. It, man, it just <laughs> dazzles people, man. It just looks so much cooler. These ice cubes are awesome. If you really wanna entertain folks at home and get the people going, this is how you do it. Something about a clear cube just drives people nuts. <laughs> okay, so right here, just to recap, you did two dashes of Angostura, one dash of orange bitters, half ounce of maraschino liqueur, Correct. two ounces of bourbon, and how are you gonna finish this bad dog off? Well, we gotta finish it off with a nice zest. Uh, we're gonna do an orange zest today. By the way, guys, be careful with these. No need to cut a finger off. No one needs any blood and skin in their drinks. It's about moving with intent. <laughs> I'm telling you moving with speed. The speed will come. <laughs> Just get the form down good first. And Your fingertips will thank you. <laughs> there you have it. You're fancy free. I'm a big believer that I gotta give everything the, the, the taste test. Ooh. You know, any bourbon old fashions, I think people really love, and this is a solid choice for you to have. What are we gonna do next? Maybe let's do something citrusy, something refreshing for the people yeah. who aren't necessarily into the stirred cocktails. Something citrusy and always a banger uh, is the margaritas. The one we like to do is the Tommy margarita. Uh, simply fresh squeezed lime juice, agave syrup, and tequila. Can't lose with that combination, Can't brother. Lose. It's, they're tasty. And the funny thing is, you're taking ingredients out. You're not doing uh, sweet and sour mix. Mm -hmm. You're not doing orange cordial. It's just down to the basics. Let's make one, my friend. <laughs> uh, we'll start, we pre-squoze some lime juice here. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce. And Fresh lime, can't beat it? Can't beat it. Uh, we do have some agave syrup here, another three quarters of an ounce. It's for agave syrup, you're just taking agave nectar and cutting it with a little bit of hot water? Precisely. All right, next we got our tequila. I recommend Blanco. I prefer Blanco in my margaritas as well. Some folks do like Reposado. Again, this is your party, do what you want. <laughs> All right, we'll move on to an ice, ice scoop here. It is okay if I chime in with something here. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about ice cubes, right? So I love right talking now ice we're cubes. using big, like these big chunky, like, yeah. you know, one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch 
solid cold draft cubes. When I'm shaking with cold draft, I use a technique called dirty dumping and I actually serve the margarita over the same ice cubes that I shook with. Yeah, totally. It, it holds the cold very well. And um, again, we are entertaining at home. We may not have a huge freezer full of ice in the back. So save your ice. Don't shake it and, and throw it out. Shake it and keep it. A little bit of salt rim here. I'm an advocate of the salt rim. It's a necessary flavor for the margarita. You need that saltiness with the citrusy, with the... And you replace electrolytes. So in a way, <laughs> it's kind of become an energy drink. <laughs> All right. And in regards to the salted rim, I like the way you did it. You did half of the rim. So that in case people like it, you know, they, they can taste it as they go. Or if they prefer it without the salt, or without tasting it, they can just sit from the other side. Exactly. Uh, you know, when as me as a bartender, sometimes when you're rocking drinks, you don't always get the chance to ask, do you want salt or not? Especially, and, I imagine, like, you know, at a catering party. Exactly, and uh, when you are serving margaritas, people sometimes expect it already, but sometimes people don't want it, so that's what's nice about the half rim. It kind of pleases everyone. Speaking of pleasing everyone, <laughs> see if this passes mustard. <laughs> Hold on, we need that garnish. Oh, that's lovely, that's lovely. <laughs> All right, the Tommy's margarita, and that was two ounce tequila, three quarter ounce lime, three quarter ounce agave syrup. Correct. Shake, dump. All right, so that's two cocktails down. You were saying something about a third. What do you got in store for us? Yes, sir. Uh, we got the Monte Carlo today. Uh, this is an awesome rye whiskey cocktail, very stirred and direct. We're gonna be starting off with some Angostura bitters for this. Um, two dashes of those. We're going to be moving to our Benedictine. This is a French herbal liqueur. Nice half ounce for that. I love Benedictine. I really like mixing with it in regards to cocktails because it almost has like a cola-like flavor to it. There's a little like a herbaceous sarsaparilla going on Coca-Cola type of thing. And this is all almost very, uh, in, the, in a sense, similar to sweet vermouth. Yeah. Moving on to our rye whiskey, a nice two ounce pour. All right, we got a nice healthy pour of ice in there. We'll give it a stir. Oh yeah. Give a little wiggle, a little shake. Just a little, just a little one, yeah, two. Yeah, get everything out of there. <laughs> and we'll finish it off with a nice twist. Again, we'll be using an orange. There you have it, <laughs> your, your Monte Carlo. I like the three drinks that you put out because, you know, you have a little something for everybody. You know, you have a cocktail served up with rye, cocktail served up with rocks, uh, with bourbon. And then you have some over, over ice that's shake and refreshing for a hot day. So it's like you kind of scratch all the itches with, with what you served up today. Most definitely. Uh, again, they're very simple, very straightforward. Uh, these ingredients are easy to attain. Uh, you can find all these ingredients at BevMo or your local uh, liquor provider. And, and they're, just, they're just solid. They're classic cocktails. They've been around for years. They're not going anywhere. And, and I love celebrating them by, by enjoying them. And you know, they're all also really easy to batch if somebody wanted to make them in advance. Most definitely. You know, which is perfect for, you know, you know, having people over when you're partying, having a good old time in the festivities. Most definitely. All right, Andrew, I know you're a busy dude, so I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with us, to hang out with all of our Cocktail Limelight viewers and share a little bit of your advice and expertise thank in regards you. to cocktails. If somebody wanted to hit you up, had any questions, want to learn more about you, wanted to ask you about you know some cocktail catering tips what's the best place for them to find you awesome uh my website progressivepours.com uh you can find me on instagram at progressive pours and uh i think that'd be the best way to get a hold of me and if you got my number holler well that wraps up today's episode but i want to say thank you so much to all of you for tuning in and if you want to dive deeper into the world of cocktails be sure to check out the award-winning cocktail podcast bartender at large which i host as well and if there's any cocktails that you would like us to tackle in a future episode of Cocktail Limelight, go ahead and leave it in the comments below, and maybe it'll be featured on a future episode. With that said, thank y'all so much for tuning in. And also, don't forget to muddle that subscribe button, and we will see you again next week.